now at four, millions rattled by a rare East Coast earthquake. Earthquake. Oh my God, there's an earthquake. The 4.8 magnitude struck just before 1030 this morning in Hunterdon County, New Jersey. The tremors were felt from New England through the Mid-Atlantic, an area not used to these kinds of events, leaving many wondering what exactly was happening. It was pretty nuts. I thought it was just construction going on next door. It felt like a, a subway train coming underneath the house. It's unexpected in Philadelphia. Good Friday afternoon, everyone. I'm Sarah Bloomquist. An eventful day for sure. I'm Brian Taft. The big story on Action News today is that very rare earthquake that shook nearly the entire Northeast today. Thankfully, no reports of any injuries or widespread damage at this point. The U.S. Geological Survey says the 4.8 magnitude earthquake hit in Hunterdon County, New Jersey, right at 1023 this morning. It was centered between the towns of White House Station, Califon, and Lebanon, roughly 60 miles from the city of Philadelphia. There is, of course, plenty to talk about following that quake today, and our team spent the entire day talking with experts and getting reaction. Action News reporter Annie McCormick begins our coverage live from right near the epicenter in White House Station. Annie. Yeah, we're in White House Station, which is in Reddington Township in Hunterton County, and this is near where the epicenter of that earthquake is. We're specifically about five miles away from it. When we arrived here, which was pretty soon after, probably about an hour after that earthquake uh, hit this area, we were able to catch up with a number of the emergency responders here at the White House Fire Company that were responding to those calls. We also caught up with the mayor of Reddington Township as well, who was able to talk to us about what they were seeing and initially how they responded. Immediately after the, the earthquake, uh, I directed our, our township officials, OEM, police, fire, rescue, to do a survey of our critical infrastructure, our bridges, roadways, culverts, buildings, um, for any any damage. We arrived to the White House Fire Company soon after and caught up with emergency responders in between calls. I was sitting at a dining room table and just I thought someone backed into our house. It just started to shake. It went on for a good 30 plus seconds just rumbling and shaking and um, the water in our built in pool underground pool is just going back and forth like someone was out there surfing. Firefighters rushed into the station. EMS crew staff for the day felt their building sway. We got the two gas leaks. We had a resident for a lift assist, and we also had somebody call into the station asking us if we felt what they felt. The damage in the area was minimal, but what did get damaged here was an important piece of New Jersey history. This is the Colonel John Taylor's grist mill. Uh, it was constructed around 1760. It was an integral part of the American Revolution. And the top portion of the structure collapsed. It, it was out into the roadway. Our uh, fabulous DPW, you know, cleaned it up and pushed it back. Uh, I imagine all of these rocks and stones will be replaced, uh, historically accurate, will be replaced and restored to its, uh, to its warmer glory. Now, local officials also, you may have seen in some parts around here, if you saw some roads that were closed, that was only around the dams and reservoirs to make sure that safety, uh, there's safety measures in place for the inspectors that were out there to make sure that everything was okay. They checked the reservoirs, the dams, local bridges, and they found that everything was okay and sound. Additionally, they also checked the local hospital here. They found nothing damage to that infrastructure as well. Again, many people here saying that they're glad to see how the community came together and that nobody was seriously injured. For now, reporting live in Reddington Township, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Sarah. Yeah, we're all glad about that, Annie. Thank you.